Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here. And XRP is going crazy! And to celebrate that, we are giving away 100 XRP. And all you have to do to enter is make sure you press the like button, make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell on, and make sure you comment something down below. And my question of today is, are you an XRP hodler? I am so crazy freaking excited because this is the first time in a good little while that we have some pump with XRP, specifically in the hour. 11.5%, that is not nothing. All the people calling it a stable coin, all the people hating, shush, shush, shush. They can oh, <laughs> leave the building right now. There's one important thing you need to understand. A pump like this doesn't necessarily have to last, but it just quickly smash, smashes all those people who say, XRP is never going to move again. <laughs> uh, XRP is a table coin. <laughs> no, no, no. And that's again why I'm so freaking excited, everybody. I had a long position open a little bit early today. Uh, didn't actually go too well because I didn't expect this to occur. I didn't expect this to occur whatsoever. Now, logically... You know, I, I trade breakouts, as you guys most likely know, so I should have taken this. I should have definitely taken this, you know, pretty severely, but I, I just I just didn't expect this to go this way, to be honest with you. I didn't expect the huge, but look at the five-minute chart here, guys. Within five minutes, it just, no, it's actually, I guess, within half an hour, it just pumped like crazy. Here, it started at about 6.20. Right now, it is about 7.10. It did about, let's see here, 11.6% in like 30 freaking minutes. That is nutty. That is nutty. And by the way, it might be lagging a little bit. I'm not exactly sure why the, the MacBook here is not going at its ultim, you know, at its optimal pace. Not exactly sure what is keeping it back. But yeah, it's pretty damn crazy. And I've been checking it over on Twitter. I've been trying to read what everybody has been saying. For example, there's one guy whose tweet I just saw, Gordon Gecko. He tweeted XRP Morning Wood. As of course, this is right now a pretty early time over in the US right now. So a lot of people are most likely waking up to a little bit of an XRP pump, which is definitely nice. It's definitely, definitely nice. And I try to, of course, do my own little say here over on Twitter of saying, hey, nice XRP pump on the hourly 136 to 151, as that is literally what just happened. You know, I just decided to quickly screenshot that. Pretty big move, and it's not something you see every single day, you know, so it's pretty damn juicy. Chris Osback posted, pump and dump? Question mark. Did Joel Katz answer someone in his latest tweet? Rumors about settlement pumping it before dumping. Now, I want to actually mostly dis discuss this one because, to be honest, I think a lot of people will be asking Dusty what exactly happened, why did this occur, and what's going on. And there's actually not a single answer that's going to be correct. The volume is mediocre, it's not too great, and it's not anything necessarily crazy. I mean, a lot of altcoins are doing properly right now, and some of the coins I've been covering on the channel, like Matic, are also going extremely, extremely well, as you most likely saw. I guess the most interesting part comes in the fact that it's not Bitcoin or, you know, anything akin to those lines related. If we just quickly check here Ethereum, for example, did Ethereum see the same pump within the hour? Let's quickly check it out. Let's quickly you know, try to compare the, the two to each other. It pumped, I guess. It's still doing okay, but it's definitely not akin to what XRP has been doing here. Let's quickly check out VeChain. Vichin is at the bottom here, but still, it pumped a little bit, but it didn't actually do as much as, uh, as XRP has been doing here. A lot of coins are doing proper, but XRP really stood out. Really stood out here. Really, really stood out. Let's quickly check out ADA. ADA has been doing really properly, but it's been doing properly all day and all night, a couple of days. Uh, a lot of people were making fun of my ADA prediction, by the way, when I said $2.60 for ADA is coming. They said, no, Dusty, you shouldn't buy right now. ADA's going to come down. Those guys, shush as well, please. Please don't comment that type of stuff down below anymore. You know, the, the, real, the real men are speaking right here. You know, please, you, you little kids, let's not discuss those things anymore. Let's quickly see Litecoin. Litecoin also, you know, quote-unquote pumping, but not really that severe, not really that interesting. XLM usually follows XRP to a heavy degree. On the one hour, I guess it also had a little bit of a peak happening, but not as severe as XRP. Once more, pretty nice candle, 11.5%. It's juicy to see something move like that. It's just some, something to just quickly put some more faith into all the hodlers here. And what are we doing? Well... I'm not going to go long right now. I should have done that a little bit earlier once it broke through and I got some confirmation on a shorter time frame. Oh, it's actually one of the shortest time frames. Never mind. No, I would have never most likely taken a trade like this here. It's too, too difficult. It's so quick that the price pumped. It wasn't really consistent because once it broke out, you could have t taken the bet, you know, basically almost instantly here. But if you didn't, it would have been nearly impossible to really catch on to this one. So it's, it's definitely one of the more difficult ones. But then again, it was so freaking juicy, as I've said a couple of times now. 
to just witness this and just see it again, as it will leave a lot of people just in the background again. A lot of people will stop their hatred. So I've also seen this little article right here. Court schedules new telephonic conference between Ripple and the SEC. Even though we already know the next court date is going to be the 21st, let's quickly get back to this argument here. What exactly could pump? Well, you guys most likely saw a couple of hours ago, we got some breaking news on the lawsuit. There's another video coming on that just shortly here. You probably will not get a notification for it, so make sure you refresh the channel. The video is going to come out in exactly 2.5 hours from now. All right, so oh, maybe three hours. Okay, so 2.5 to 3 hours from now, make sure you re refresh the freaking channel so you get the notification for that video or whatever, you see it, right? Because I'm going to post another breaking news update on the Ripple v. XRP law, uh, v. SEC lawsuit because there's some stuff that happened that you guys need to know about. And I'm a little bit estimating here that it might have something to do with this pump. Then again, it could also be regarding everything that the people have been saying here that Ripple could be going for a partial settlement. And I'm not saying that that's Ripple's choice to make. It's mostly the SEC's choice. But it could be that this here already is just one big guy buying some XRP. If you guys know, let me know as well. Maybe somebody has spotted a huge order over on Binance, KuCoin, or whatever, pick an exchange, right? Maybe somebody has spotted that. Because it could just be one guy in preparation. It could just be some of the big guys in preparation. We don't really know. But usually this is the sign of one guy with a fat finger that knows more than we do. If it is related to the lawsuit, obviously. It could also just be, you know, coincidence. It could also be for fun. It could, also, it could have so many different reasons. But the lawsuit, I'm only making that one apparent because there are a lot of speculatory pieces going on right now of Ripple slash XRP settling. And I told you guys, if we break out because they won or anything like that, you need to go times... Fi oh, wait, let me quickly say. What I'm about to say and everything in this video is not financial advice. None of this should be taken as financial advice. And any of my strategies can definitely lose your money. Right? You can definitely lose money with this. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a random guy on the internet. Um, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, okay. So I am personally, I'll, I'll, t I'll say it like that, going to go long times 50 or whatever the max leverage is once XRP wins, right? I'm going to go once more times 50 and I'm going to put in a lot of money, all right? I will definitely make millions of dollars off of this trade. I can just tell you already like that. Because the fun part is, I think people that trade with like a couple of thousand will also make millions of dollars off of one single trade. And that is the trade at which we know that Ripple has won. So we got a quick update, 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 update ourselves with every single thing that's happening regarding this lawsuit. Because I literally just said, people can make millions off of one trade. And that is again why like, buy a bit and stuff like that is so freaking beautiful. Because you should only take trades when you know you're going to win. Okay, or you just have a really proper strategy. Don't just mess around with that type of stuff unless you're doing it with a little, little, little amount of money. Otherwise, just trade when you think you're going to win. Look at us pump right now, guys. Look at it go. I should have streamed, but the internet is so extremely bad. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Maybe in a couple of hours from now, if things are still doing good, I will just have to stream. I might just have to force it. Oh, because this is so freaking exciting, man. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even. Uh, whale alert, I've also decided to check, but there wasn't anything when I last checked it just now. It could be, however, that in a couple of minutes here, we're going to see some huge alert for XRP that people moved or from USDT. But then again, it could also be Ethereum. It could also be that, for example, a lot of people switched over their Ethereum winnings for some extra XRP or something like that, right? We don't necessarily know. It's, it's very hard to tell exactly what caused what. So that's, again, a really difficult one. The pump is not really happening for most other cryptos. Let's quickly check the altcoin market cap. Because that one even is not pumping as much relatively. And XP was actually a really good part, most likely, of this altcoin little recovery that we're seeing here. Because this entire candle filled with XRP is freaking joke. It is juicy, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you're all having a good day. I guess Dot is also doing properly. Let's quickly check out HBAR. That one is not doing too much. There's a video coming where I'm going to talk about Dot and Matic. Because uh, those coins I've covered on my second channel called 5 Minute Crypto. A lot of people are sleeping on them and they're doing properly right now. So I wanted to quickly t let you guys know about that. But let me know. Is XRP still pumping whilst you're watching this? I keep telling people, guys, crypto is not going anywhere. And with XRP, the... the the risk to reward is just so freaking juicy that I think it's just not going to be able to lose. But yeah, you might have noticed I am just too excited to even talk right now. That's mostly because I've seen so many comments of people saying, Dusty, XRP is done. XP is never going to pump. XP never did, never that. I think 10% is already a really cool thing to have in just one hour. Nice little pump. Hopefully, it can continue on from here on forward, break in a couple of uh, shorts and hopefully a couple of these naysayers just, you know, kind of shut them up. I really hope so, and I'm, I'm pretty excited for what the near future already has to bring for us. But yeah, I'm going to make this video as short as possible so I can, you know, upload it as quickly as possible. I think 
in like 10 minutes it will hopefully be uploaded and then we'll see right maybe i'll come and stream a little bit later in like an hour or so if i can get it done but i'm gonna post another video in at maximum three hours so make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you're fresh to the channel because you want to see this lawsuit update it's going to be really important so see you again in another video coming out really really soon here